chapter is 11. Chapter 11. <clears throat> Your fly is open too. Observe the behavior of others and correct your own. Back in the early post-war era in Japan, when cars were scarce, everyone got around by bus or train. One day I found myself riding on a nearly empty bus. I picked a seat, sat back, and relaxed. Across from me sat a distinguished-looking man in his 50s, whose fly, I couldn't help noticing, was unbuttoned. This was in the days before zippers came into common use. I contemplated what to do, but of course he had to be told. I slipped over beside him and quietly let him know the situation, man to man. Some men might have taken offense at being told such a thing, but not he. After a momentary look of surprise, he thanked me politely and gave a rueful smile as he, com as he covered himself with the magazine he'd been reading and did up his fly. Relieved, I returned to my seat, planted my feet on the floor, folded my arms, and looked around again. Lo and behold, the distinguished-looking look, man across the way got up and came over to sit beside me. Wondering what on earth he could want, I tensed with expectation as he brought his lips to my ear and murmured with a smile, Your buttons are undone too. With a start, I reached down and realized he was right. My cheeks burned in embarrassment. To cover my confusion, I gave a rueful smile and thanked him. The proverb has it, observe the behavior of others and correct your own. I was made to realize then that even such apparently obvious sayings must never be taken lightly. So this is the direct experience of this of the author of the book, uh, Kentetsu Takamori Sensei. Um, he is a remarkable Buddhist teacher, uh, but when he was much younger, he also had this uh, embarrassing experience. And it's not only him, but uh, Everybody, I think, has the similar experience, and I am no exception. I was really embarrassed because the same thing happened to me when I was standing in in front of many people on uh, on a stage. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I I don't think many people noticed that. But uh, still, uh, when I realized that, you know, nobody told me. I realized. By my seven, I was so embarrassed. <clears throat> so before people know this, before majority, many people know this, our, our such uh, <clears throat> uh, embarrassing error, uh, we should uh, correct our own mistake uh, errors by observing other people's behavior. This is the behavior of wise people. Even wise people, of course, make mistakes. We are all human beings. We all have false assumption and a lot of fallacy. We all have uh, wishful thinking. So we don't see the reality as it is. And we don't see ourselves as we are. But by looking at the mirror, we can prevent such a mistake because we can see ourselves, how, I, how we look, what kind of appearance do we have? Is it good or is something sticking to my lips or teeth? We can see it by ourselves by using a mirror. 
So looking at the mirror before going outside is very important. On our spiritual journey, what is the mirror? What is the important mirror for us? It is called the mirror of Dharma. It's the, another name of Buddhism. Buddhism is like a mirror of Dharma. So it's we look at this mirror uh, with our ears. Uh, yeah, by listening <laughs> mainly. Sometimes we read Buddhist text, but Buddha said listening is utmost importance. Yeah, listening to Buddha's wisdom, listening to Dharma. Actually, in there's a phrase in a in a sutra, uh, listening is uh, uh, what is <clears throat> by listening we will attain enlightenment. Yeah, by listening or by hearing. Uh, hearing is more precise uh, in, uh, translation because. Uh, it, it, the voice, Buddha's voice, reaches out to the, reaches the bottom of our heart. Uh, it's not our effort, but Buddha's voice reaches our the deepest part of our heart by uh, Buddha's power. So we hear the 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 truth at that moment. So this is the most important mirror for us, the mirror of Dharma. So uh, six parameters is important daily practice, but more than six parameters, uh, listening to the Dharma is important. Okay, so that's all about uh, today's afternoon recitation meditation. Good job, everyone. Uh, see you next time. Have a good evening. Bye-bye. Thank you. You're welcome, uh, Gary. See you next time.